Hey everybody, this is Levi from Bayfoils, and today we're going to watch a few videos. Nothing educational. Well, maybe semi-educational. I don't know. But long story short, I crashed a board last year pretty bad. Like, probably this is the worst I've ever seen a flight board get crashed. And so I took videos of it during the repair process and I'm sharing with my friends on the internet. You, you can take this as a cautionary tale, as a how to fix video. I, th I'm not gonna say what this video is about, but we're just gonna look at some carnage. Board carnage, not people carnage. But yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz, but let's get into it. <laughs> it's pretty it's bad. So gnarly. It's very gnarly. You can see all the glass is all ripped up. So remember in a few videos back that I talked about how flight boards are constructed. Well, here you can see the PVC foam sandwich in between the carbon and the fiberglass layers. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna like do voiceover. I'm doing voiceover right now. <laughs> God, it was messed up. <laughs> Okay, next video. In there. So this is after I dremeled out all the messed up carbon. Like I removed all the outside, all the foam, and you could still see this core foam got sliced pretty deep. So I had to remove all of that. So all this bad foam, you have to dremel it out and before you fill it. Oh, I should have said trigger warning for dental PTSD. Yeah, baby. But yeah, hours of that. Dremeling all of it out, making all the foam in the inside nice and smooth. Got to get it nice and smooth before you fill it. So this is after a couple of fills. We're dremeling the fill so it's nice and sand before we lay the carbon over it. This was after like a week or two of putting fill in. We're getting there. Okay, we're here. This is week three. You can see how many different fills we had to do. One, two, three, four, five. Like this was like six fills. Uh, you can't fill it all at once because it'll generate too much heat do the way the the catalyst adds to the resin and it'll like melt apart so you have to do slices of fill to get it to the volume you need and so it was very laborious it's coming along <laughs> we still need a couple more fills on the top and we haven't touched this one yet oh, yeah that i i had to dig out so much it was, it was torn up all the way to the deck pad. Okay, we're here. Week four on the saga of the cracked ultra right here. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> it's definitely in July. <laughs> I think this video is in like September. No, this was like October or something. It took us, it was a process over a few months because yeah, it's just, 
coming along. God, it's so disgusting. So when you fill it, you have to like make a reinforcement with tape so the liquid stuff does just spill everywhere. Um, Cause you want it to be, you want your epoxy to be semi-liquid. So it fills in all the gaps. We don't have any air pockets, but it drips when it's liquid. And so it's kind of got everywhere. Almost there. This patch is looking good. And then here's the end. Hey. So here we are. How many months has it been? It's been since the uh, beginning of July. Beginning of July. Our, because Levi was supposed to fix it. Our very much <laughs> sandbagged uh, repair on the old. Here's our unveil. Oh, it's a dusty, oh. dusty dust. Here we go. Look at that. I mean, it's not pretty. It could be polished a lot better, but it's ready to go. But it looks watertight. Mess. <laughs> <laughs> but you it know was what? Pretty gross. Compared to the gash that it was, the carnage that we had. Like it's relatively smooth. It's hard to make the the carbon fold the right way, especially on these corners. So like you're. The proper way to do it is a, is a lap. It, it could do another, we could do another hot coat on it and sand it down and it would look a lot prettier, but I kind of just wanted to ride it today. So we're going to go ride it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of the process, you know, always ride safe, wear your helmet because you can really cause some carnage. <laughs>